Hello, Leon here from backintelligence.com where we help people manage their back pain from home as well as help them fix their postures. And today I'm gonna to be talking about a posture mistake that a lot of people make and how to avoid it and what you need to do instead. So I think what happens to a lot of people when they become more aware of their poor postures is they kind of reverse their poor posture uh, into looking something like this. So let's say I want to, you know, let's say I have a bad posture. Oh, I need to stand up straight. What they end up doing is overcorrecting. And what they're doing is, is they're kind of puffing up their chest. And it's kind of like this, it kind of feels, yeah, it definitely feels more straight. But right now what you're doing is you're going the opposite way, uh, but it's still wrong. <laughs> so it, you have to find the middle way. We certainly don't want this, okay? This is no good. I'm really good at showing the wrong posture because I had it for a while and now it's much better. But now this is better. But now what a lot of people do is they overcorrect. And what they do is, again, they, they um, open up their rib cage and, and their chest and, and they hyperextend their low back. So actually, let, let's see if you can see my low back here. Hopefully you can see it. It's hyperextended. That's not good, okay? Because that's gonna cause you low back pain. That's gonna put a lot of strain on your muscles here in the low back. And um, the other thing that's bad about this position is that you can't breathe well, okay? Because you're gonna be all up high in your chest. So you're gonna be uh, triggering more of the sympathetic nervous system instead of the parasympath parasympathetic nervous system. Uh, and you want to be predominantly in your parasympathetic nervous system, that's your rest and digest uh, system, uh, rather than the sympathetic nervous system, which is all about fight or flight, which is, you know, creates that stress uh, in your body. And we know that stress can contribute to chronic pain as well. So we don't want to puff up our chest and be all locked up like this and, and, and sit like this or, or stand like this, you know, that, that's um, too much and that's incorrect, okay? Because you want to be able to breathe. You want to have this part of the, the front of the body be somewhat relaxed so that you can have nice uh, breathing patterns. So you can breathe from your belly and from your chest. But um, basically the, the easiest way is to think about if I take my rib cage here and I put two fingers, I want my rib cage to stay closed, okay? So I don't want my rib cage to open up like this. We want to close this, okay? So feel like, breathe out and relax this part, okay? Now, you don't want to round forward either. That's too much forward. This is too much back. So now try to find the, the middle ground. Here, this is much better for me, okay? Um, you could think about a string uh, stretching up like, like, like somebody taking you by the back of the head and just slightly, not too much again, and pulling you up a little bit. <sighs> At the same time, relaxing here in the chest area and the rib cage. And maybe a little bit pull in, but you should be able to breathe. But again, not this. Hopefully you can see the difference. This is now me all tensed up. Hyperextending, I'm, I'm in the anterior pelvic tilt mode, which is also not good. It can strain your low back. So we want it, if, if, I, if I again bring this thing, I, 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 my, my, my low back should be more neutral instead of hyperlordosis, which is what this would be. So again, relax this part. You can stretch up a little bit, but feel like you're breathing and that this part is not overextending, okay? So uh, that's a, an important tip, especially for someone who's starting out new at this, you might wanna sit all day like this, but that's not going to be uh, good for you and that's gonna be counterproductive for what you're trying to do, all right? So anyway, I hope this helps you. I hope this makes sense. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'd love to send you three videos that are focused on correcting your forward head and rounded shoulder 
posture. We've done three videos with Dr. David Oliver. Uh, if you'd like to get access to these videos, they're completely free. There's going to be a link to them somewhere here on the video or down below in the description. Just go to that page, enter your email, and we'll send you those videos right away.